This is our Rihanna Chris Brown blog number two. Number two. Because last night. If you haven't seen the first one, you need to see the first one first. Link in the little sidebar. Right. Um, Last night, the uh, the, uh, TMZ website posted the Rihanna photos of her looking. Wow. First thing I have to say is I'm really, I'm shocked. Like, when I heard them saying that she had multiple contusions and, like, there was, you know, damage and it looked like she had devil horns, I was like, okay, y'all are putting 20 on the 10. But, ladies and gentlemen, I saw those photos. It looks like our homegirl Riri, like, seriously got bucked with a bag of nickels. And here's the photo um, here, in case you guys haven't seen it yet. This is graphic. Caution. So, if you need to leave the room, please do so now. So, yeah. Yeah. Can I just be the first one to say, damn, Chris Brown, what were you thinking? And when they first um, said, like, oh, he's being charged for making threats or something, I'm like, okay, maybe he just gave her a No, that's not even a threat. No. Homeboy pulled out a can of whoop-ass and socked her with it repeatedly. Yeah. Like, the, let, let, let's just forget dance forever. It looked like he beat her forever. That's what it looked like happened. <laughs> like, it just doesn't even look right. I was on Concrete Loop today, and I almost split my wig because I thought I saw, I didn't, but I thought I saw that Chris Brown is releasing a CD, to, or releasing a song tomorrow with Ciara. Okay, it's not Chris Brown, it's Justin Timberlake. But the point still stands. If I see Chris Brown gallivanting around, acting like everything's okay, somehow going to the Oscars or some other big wig swag party in LA, I'm gonna be pissed. Because you should be at home mourning as if the child died. Because it looks like you were trying to beat her until she died. That is just ridiculous. Now, apparently, he's hired the same dude who worked with Paris Hilton and trying to, like, make over her image when she had that sex tape. And if you're doing that, right, literally, right before the pictures come out, that makes you look guilty as Guilty as charged. Yes. Guilty as charged. Allegedly, still, I mean, granted, we don't, he's been charged, still alleged. But I'm now. saying, but the pictures were leaked to Paris Hilton's site. I saw them things, and it is not good for you in the streets, homie. Like, that, it, uh, there is no reason ever. Like, this sparked a debate in our office yet again today, and the men in the office were like, oh, well, if she gave him some type of venereal disease or blah, 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 if she had a venereal disease. No. Did you, the girl looks like she just was in My Bloody Valentine. It's not right. It's not right. I mean, I, I don't understand how guys can can be like, oh. If, you, if you're thinking, if you're one of those guys out there who's thinking, oh, well, if, if somebody gave me a venereal disease, I'd do the same thing. No. This is wrong. And it should not be tolerated. And for all of you young women out there, all of those young women out there who are like, well, if she did it, that's what she gets. No, it's not. Because she's going to be traumatized for life because of what he did to her. No. I mean, it looks like literally her face like was grated against the concrete. Like she has marks on both sides of her head. Like in her lip. Oh, it's just ridiculous. This is not good, people. This is not good. It's not I can't see her doing any. She's got Revlon contracts and a, a Rimmel contracts. I don't remember, but it's some makeup, and, she, and there ain't no makeup in the world that can fix this. Okay, plastic surgery is what she's. Dermatological help is what she's gonna need, and I really feel bad for her. I really do. Like no jesting. I feel bad and sad for you, Chris Brown. Sad. 